Hello, Story Wilson with rswsolutions.com. Today we're looking at the RSW Solutions 4D CAN software tool. This is paired with a fairly inexpensive ELM 327 device. And in this case, we're using a Wi Fi ELM 327 device. I've added some new features. We're going to look at them real quick. Uh, we've already configured the uh, OBD ELM Wi Fi device on our wireless network, and we're just going to connect to it. You'll see a connection has been attempted, and there is a response from the device. So we're going to go ahead and go into the uh, settings here, and we're going to work with the ES tolerances mode. So we're going to set the air suspension tolerance to the tight mode, which means the air suspension uh, will attempt to maintain very, very tight controls over the height. So you can do things like calibrations or uh, uh, vehicle uh, alignments. So we're going to set to tight mode, and you'll see some of the sequences go through here. And when it's done, tight mode is set, and we'll close. That's basically it. That's all you're going to see when you go into the uh, tight tolerance mode in the air suspension. Now, one of the things you'll notice that when you're, you are in the tight tolerance mode in the air suspension, you will see uh, this specific fault code here. There we are. It just says control module. Now, I'm not sure what that's referring to, but I believe basically just saying that, that the control module is in tight tolerance mode or there's a, it's not enabled. The control module right now is not actually enabled. It's, it's, it's not responding to normal air suspension commands. So we can close this up, go into the tolerance mode again, we can open up communications, select normal mode. We're back in normal mode. The air suspension's been reset. Close communications. Go back to the module here. Let's read the faults again. faults and there are no faults anymore so that's a quick example of how you can go into tight tolerance mode for the air suspension it helps with things like the calibration also notice there's a couple of things which people haven't really noticed uh, we have uh, you can reset the oil intervals and you can also do a parking brake reset kind of a physical reset you can back off physically back off the parking brake module anyway please go to our website to see more information about this tool www.rswsolutions.com thanks